hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to make this very uh this little strawberry cow or mini cow so you can use it as a keychain or just uh, any way that you want and also i used a crochet hook which is 3.5 millimeters and also i used this kind of yarn so i used the white one for the body color and the head and this one for the ears and the mouth and the other parts so let's get started okay so we're going to start with the head and we're going first to start with the magic ring and then we're going to do six single crochet into the magic ring we're going to do one two three four five and six then i'm going to pull my yarn and put place my marker over here okay so now in the second row we're going to increase each stitch around for a total of 12 single crochets so i'm going to go into the next stitch and do two single crochets so i do two single crochets And then I'll continue doing that. So increase also in the next stitch. And then you're going to continue increasing. Okay, so increase in all the stitches. Okay, so now in our third row, uh, we're going to do single crochet, then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to do single crochet and then increase in the next stitch and then we're going to keep repeating that so single crochet and then increase okay single crochet increase So keep repeating that all the way okay so in our fourth row uh, we're going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to do single crochet single crochet and then increase and repeat that again so single crochet single crochet and increase okay so keep repeating that okay so repeat all the way round okay so after you're done with the fourth row uh, in the next three rows, which is row five until row seven, we are going to do single crochet all the way in each row for a total of 24 stitches in each row. So you're going to, in the fifth row, you're going to do single crochet. So single crochet. Okay, so you're going to continue doing single crochet all the way in this row and the next two rows. So I'll see you when you're done with the seventh row so that we start the eighth row together. Okay, so after the seventh row, this is how the head looks like. So now in our eighth row, we're going to do single crochet in the next two stitches, then decrease and repeat that all the way around for a total of 18 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two and then decrease so you're going to go in the front loop of the next stitch and pull through and then the back loop of the next stitch and pull through and pull through all the two together so we call this an invisible decrease uh, it makes your work look more neat okay and then you're going to repeat that again so two single crochet 
and decrease okay so repeat that again Okay, so you're going to keep repeating that all the way until the end. Okay, so now in our ninth row, uh, we're going to do single crochet, then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 12 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet and then decrease. Okay, and then decrease. And then we're going to keep repeating that so single crochet and decrease okay so repeat that again single crochet decrease Okay, so you're going to keep repeating that all the way round. Okay, so after that, uh, in our 10th row, which is our last row, we're going to do two single crochet, then decrease and repeat all around for a total of nine stitches. Okay, so we're going to do single crochet one and then do another single crochet and decrease. Then you're going to keep repeating that. So two single crochet and then decrease. Okay, and then repeat that again one more time. So two single crochet. and decrease okay so after that I'm just going to cut my yarn and cut long enough for sewing and then I'm going to go into the next stitch and slip stitch like that Okay, so after that you're going to stuff your head uh, uh, firm enough or shape it the way you want it to look like and then after that I'll show you how to make the legs and the body okay so the legs are quite easy so we're going to start with the pink yarn first and we're going to start with the magic ring and then we're going to do four single crochet into the magic ring so we're going to do single crochet one two three and four okay and then pull your yarn and place your marker over here okay so in the second row we are going to increase each stitch around for a total of uh, eight stitches so I'm going to go into the next stitch and do two single crochet in the same stitch. Okay, and then I'm going to repeat that again in the next stitch. Also, you're going to do two single crochet. Okay, increase in the next stitch two and in the last stitch okay 
okay so after that uh, we're going to change into the white yarn so I'm just going to tie it off uh, there are also other ways of joining the yarn so you can do the one that you feel is comfortable for you so I'm just going to turn uh, to tie it here just a little knot So, and then after that, uh, from row 3 until row 5, which is for the next 3 rows, you're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 8 stitches in each row. So you're going to come up with something that looks like this. So we did, I did 1, 2, 3, 3 rows using the white yarn. So when you're done with the first yarn, cut off the yarn. And then for the second leg, don't cut off the yarn because we're going to join the two together and then continue to the body. So I'll see when you're done with the second leg so that I'll show you how to continue to the body. Okay, so after you're done with the second leg, so this is how it looks like. So I'm going to place my marker over here. Okay, and then I'm going to take my other yarn. So we're just going to join here. Uh, in the next uh, leg with a single crochet so we count this one as single crochet one okay and then we'll do single crochet one all the way around we'll do single crochet all the way around so we have 16 single crochet so that is single crochet one and then we continue doing single crochet two three sorry about this is the yarn from the previous row so i'm just going to cut it so three four five then six seven eight and then continue to the next leg so eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen Fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Okay, so that's the end of our first row. So after that, you're going to place your marker over here. And also for the next row, we're going to do single crochet all the way around uh, uh, for a total of 16 stitches. So I'm going to do single crochet. And then I'll continue all the way around. Okay. So continue doing single crochet all the way around until you get here where the marker is okay so after you're done with that uh, in the next row which is our third row of the body we're going to do two single crochet then decrease and repeat all around for a total of 12 stitches so I'm going to do single crochet one and then single crochet two and then I'm going to decrease And 
then I'm going to keep repeating that so two single crochet and decrease okay so you're going to keep repeating that all the way round okay so after you're done with that for the next two rows which is row four and row five we are going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 12 stitches so we're going to continue and do single crochet single crochet single crochet so continue doing single crochet all the way in this row and the next row so i'll see when you're done with the next row which is the fifth row so that we do the last row of the body which is the sixth row together okay so before we finish up the last row make sure you stuff your body as you can see i've already started to stuff mine so make sure you stuff yours too okay so now for our last row uh, of the body we are going to do a single crochet in the next two stitches then decrease and repeat all around for a total of nine stitches so we're going to do two single crochet and then we're going to decrease so it's a little bit tight that's why uh, the crochet hook is making that sound so and then you're going to keep repeating that so two single crochet and then decrease okay so repeat that again Okay, so after that, uh, we're going to cut our yarn and leave long enough for sewing. And then I'm going to go into the next stitch and then slip stitch like that. Okay, so after that, you can fill uh, the body all the way through until the end. So, and then after that, I'm going to show you how to make the arms. Okay, so for the arms, we are also going to start uh, with the pink yarn and we're going to start with the magic ring and four single crochet into the magic ring. So we're going two, three, and four. Okay. So, and then I'm going to place my marker. Okay, so now in our second row, we are going to, in, uh, to do single crochet, then increase and repeat all the way for a total of six stitches. So, we're going to go into the next stitch and do single crochet. And then we are going to increase in the next stitch and then we're going to repeat that one more time so single crochet And then increase in the last stitch okay so after you're done with that part the other part is quite quite easy which is from row 3 until row 5 so you're going to change into the white yarn 
again just like the way we did with the legs and then after you change from row three until row five you're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of six stitches in each row okay so you're going to end up with something that looks like this as you can see we have one two three three rows of the white yarn okay so make sure you make two arms and then after that i'll show you how to make the ears okay so for the ears we are going to start first to the magic ring and then we're going to do three single crochet into the magic ring so we're going to do one two and three okay and then after that uh, in our second row we are going to increase each stitch all the way around for a total of uh, six stitches okay so i'm just going to pull my yarn all the way okay so i'm going to go into the next stitch so this one is quite hard to do because it's just three stitches but we just try Okay, so I'm going to go into the next stitch and do two single crochet. Okay, and also increase in the next stitch. And increase also in the last stitch okay okay so after that um, we are going to change into the white yarn Okay, so I'm just going to go okay so after that uh, in our third row uh, we're going to do single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of nine stitches so we're going to do single crochet and then increase in the next stitch and then repeat that two more times so single crochet and increase Okay, and then repeat that again one more time so single crochet and increase okay so I'm just going to cut uh, this yarn a little bit okay so now in our fourth row uh, we're going to do to single crochet then increase and repeat all the way for a total of 12 stitches so I'm going to do single crochet one single crochet two and increase in the next stitch and then repeat that again so two single crochet increase Okay, so repeat that again one more time okay so after that uh, in our fifth row 
we are going to do to start by doing single crochet and then increase in the next stitch okay and then we're going to do three single crochet then increase and repeat that two times so I'm going to do single crochet one two three and then increase okay and then after that I'm going to repeat that again one more time so three single crochet one two three and increase and then in the remaining two stitches we are going to do single crochet in each stitch single crochet single crochet so now we have a total of 15 stitches so after the fifth row now in our sixth row which is the last row we're going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 15 stitches so you're going to do single crochet single crochet then single crochet so you're going to continue doing single crochet all the way around and then when you're done you're going to cut off your yarn and leave it long enough for sewing and then after that I'll show you how to make the nose okay so for the nose we're going to start with a chain five so we're going to do chain one two three four and five and then we're going to start in the second uh, st uh, chain from the hook and then we're going to increase so first in the second chain so you're going to do two single crochet in the same chain and then after that we are going to do Two single crochet or single crochet in the next two chains so we're going to do single crochet okay and single crochet in the next chain two okay and then uh, in the last chain we are going to do four single crochet in the same chain okay so we're going to do single crochet one and then in the same chain do another single crochet and do two more single crochet in the same chain Okay, so we have four single crochet in the same chain okay so after that uh, going again on the other side you're going to turn and then we're going to start by doing two single crochet so one two so we're going to do single crochet one and then single crochet okay and then <coughs> after that uh, we're going to increase in the next uh, stitch okay so we're going to do an increase so you're going to skip the next stitch and then go into the next one and then you're going to increase okay so now we have a total of 12 uh, stitches okay so now we're going to go into the round two and in our round two we are going to increase in the next two stitches so we're going to increase In the first stitch 
and then increase in the next stitch and then we're going to do two single crochet or single crochet in the next two stitches going to single crochet one and then single crochet two and then we're going to increase four times so you're going to increase one and then increase two increase the third time and increase the fourth time okay after that you're going to do two single crochet so single crochet one and single crochet two Okay, and then after that we're going to increase in the last two stitches so you're going to increase and increase in the last stitch okay so after you're done with that Okay, so after you're done with that uh, in our last row which is our third row uh, in the back loop only so we're going to do it to work in the back loops only we're going to do two single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 15 stitches so we're going to go into the back loop and do two single crochet and then decrease then we're going to repeat that all around so two single crochet and decrease so we're going to keep repeating that two single crochet decrease so repeat all the way to the end Okay, so after that you're going to just cut off your yarn and then we're going to do a slip stitch like that okay so this is gonna be our little mouth gonna just use it over here when you're done with the cow okay so now I'm going to explain how I made the horns. They are quite easy. So I did the magic ring and then did four single crochet in the first row. And then I did single crochet in the next two rows. So it's only three rows. So one, two, three. So each with four single crochet all the way around. So you're going to make that and then you're going to make two of them. And then after that i'll show you how to attach all the parts together okay guys so as you can see i've already finished attaching all the parts together so for the ears you attach them like at the very at the side of your head and uh, for the horns you attach them just right above the uh, the ears or between the circle and the third row that's where you attach them and then for the mouth you do the same thing you attach the, uh, you attach it uh, below the head uh, is the way that I did it and for the arms you attach them right below the head so the head is the easiest to attach because you just attach them uh, attach it to the body directly 
so like that and for the eyes this is how i did mine right above the nose okay so now for the little uh, patches over here i just did the magic ring and six single crochet into the magic ring and that's it i just uh, did the two of them one for here and one for here okay so guys there you have it this is the little cow and also i wanted to say like for the parts if you have a fabric glue you can use that to attach your parts together or if you don't have a fabric glue you can um sew them using a needle uh you can sew them using a needle or any way that you want so uh guys that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this video uh if you have any questions you can comment uh below or you can post it in the comments below and if you have if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and i post one video every week until next time bye